Hey everyone, welcome to another Age of Mythology video. This is Titan's Campaign Level 3, Greetings from Greece. Kind of an interesting level. It's uh, sort of one of those like sort of military-only uh, levels. Go around, gather plenty of vaults to... Uh, for, uh, capture plenty of vaults to get resources and then assault uh, General Malagius. And uh, you have a sky passage where you get occasional reinforcements. Uh, main thing with this is protect your uh, villagers because you can only... I think you only get about five of them. And uh, so for starters here, I put up a uh, palace near the starting area, and I send some guys out to claim uh, plenty vaults. And uh, over in the bottom right, there's that uh, fishing village. If you destroy the statue there, you get control of the docks and market, which is very, very helpful. Extra food production, and the market is pretty critical. And a uh, little attack coming in here at three minutes. Palace sort of uh, cleans that up. But uh, just keep an eye on the Sky Passage for reinforcements. I only have three villagers here, but uh, like you saw me do there, I put um, put one on a farm. And uh, you can see the enemy army sort of trolling around by the, uh, by the uh, plenty vaults there. But luckily they didn't uh, capture that one, so that was kind of nice. Putting a little diversion wall there. Just uh, sort of using the, that palace as the anchor of my defense before I uh, have too many guys. But... Uh, Trying to use the uh, villager to distract there a little bit, and uh, just getting some military buildings up. I think I only built maybe two or three barracks the whole game until later when I uh, assault the base. But uh, you know, resources are your really your limiting factor here, so that's uh, you know no no need to build any more buildings. So I got the um, heavy infantry upgrade there. Just to uh, make uh, sort of make the army more efficient with every guy I create, they're all a little bit better. But uh, sent a Cantarius hero out and uh, made him a hero, so he's a little bit faster to uh, grab those uh, an un unclaimed uh, plenty vault. Just sort of sneaking him around. Oh, I think there was a relic out there too. That's right. And uh, they just took it back, but you know, whatever. So it's kind of one of those hurry up and wait levels. I sped this up on uh, three times to uh, just because it took a while and it's still 16 minutes. But uh, a lot of uh, sort of waiting around for resources to come in. Tossed up a few towers there for um, just for defense. Just uh, you know, because guys are kind of hard to come by on this level. So it's uh, just with the slow slow pace of resources. So trying to use uh, save the food for food and gold for guys and just use the use the wood up on those uh, on those towers and uh, garrison all my guys in the palace there for a second to uh, let Castor do some of the work just trying to preserve the army let the towers let the buildings do the work protecting the villagers and you'll see on this map there are a couple of um, couple of quirks. There are some uh, underworld passages you can find that are pretty helpful. But uh, mainly just uh, trying to build up as much as possible until until you can start advancing and taking over more uh, plenty vaults. And when reinforcements come, usually it's just uh, some Mermios, but... Uh, Occasionally you get a villager, and like I said, I think you get five total. So try to protect them. I think I made most of them into heroes, just so they move, they move around a little bit more quickly. I don't think they gather resources uh, any more quickly, but uh, I'm using that Cantarius there to do a little scouting and distracting. Keeping the military numbers up, and um, they tell you that if you uh, destroy statues around the map. Then uh, you get little bonuses like some, just to the right of the starting area, you get some um, sentinels, which is kind of nice. But just put I put up a few walls around the area just so they can only attack by that from the direction of that palace. And uh, here's where the Greeks have an advantage is they ha with their um, counter infantry, and uh, they kind of clean up my guys, even though they're I think their guys are only uh, they're some kind of whatever lower level. I'm not sure, but. They really did a number on my Mermios, so kind of let the uh, let the towers uh, do do some work there. But they pretty much cleaned out my army, so it's kind of back to square one. 
I think I sent that Contarius out to go uh, claim another Plenty Vault. And there's that Caladria there, which is kind of nice to uh, heal up your guys. Just trying to, trying to keep the numbers uh, replenished. And uh, the market, like I said, is very, very helpful when you're overloaded on one resource. Just trying to keep the villagers working a little bit. Gathering resources where they can. Generally, food is uh, pretty good because of the fishing ships. I think I'd, I usually make put one or two more uh, villagers on food. And a couple gold mines in the starting area, so that's nice. And uh, wood is a little bit a little bit limited. There are a few trees, uh, at least where you begin, so something to keep in mind. And I think I, I even put up... Um, you have 175 population with no town center and no houses, but you can even add houses later on. I think I'd do that just to uh, expand my population, and it, it would take a lot to uh, to fill it out, but uh, it was nice to have that headroom for the final assault. So over here, I'm building a couple more walls by those caves on the right, just to uh, help keep the enemy out. Sort of want them to just funnel in through the front there. And waiting to... <laughs> get res for resources to come in while I try to build those walls. Left that villager uh, unattended there for a second. And I sent uh, Kintarius up to try to uh, instigate an attack just to uh, you know start making a push at that at that plenty vault a little bit. Keep their numbers thin and then uh, once they uh, once their numbers are at a sufficient level you can go attack it and then hopefully take it over. Drawing them into the towers, and uh, looks like now I make a push to the uh, Plenty Vault, or at least I claimed it for the time being, you know, can't hurt for a little while. Bring that villager in there to uh, build a side wall, so that way they uh, they funnel through. And uh, looks like they took it back there, but no big deal. Fight by the towers again. <laughs> and I sent one guy back up to uh, reclaim it. So now it looks like I'm going to send my villager up there to build some walls. And I was skeptical of that Myrmidon on that uh, that hill there, but uh, it turns out he was stuck there probably. Uh, I don't know, some kind of god power or something put him there. Or maybe it was a glitch, but uh, yeah, they kind of chased me back over here with all those uh, minotaurs. So uh, just snuck around. So I'm sending them over there to try to claim that that other plenty, building some distraction walls here. And once you get another plenty vault under your belt, it's like, hallelujah, there are so many more resources that come in. So just, uh, again, trying to keep my numbers up in case of an attack. And I'm a little bit monochromatic with my army there, just uh, having only infantry, but uh, it's just the easiest thing to do. I'd rather just have, have the numbers. And here my... Uh, Villager's getting chased a little bit, so I sent out some guys to uh, to head them off at the pass. So I get my villager back out there to build some walls. And I think my guys actually win that exchange. And I uh, get that, uh, that manticore coming after me, but luckily I had some heroes in the area. So just trying to wall up this area a little bit more, so that way I can uh, sort of quarantine off those caves on the right and uh, claim that plenty vault. And there's an underworld passage in there as well. Sort of making this plenty vault my front lines now. And uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know, I don't know what it is. Maybe as you advance their attacks subside, but they don't really attack that plenty vault anymore as, as far as I remember. Just setting my uh, military gather points there at that, at that plenty to defend it. And I bring my villager up, up to the right to... Uh, I think start putting up some walls to, uh, yeah, block block off the, uh, there are two entrances to the, uh, where General Melagius is, and it's the one on the right there, and, um, on the far side, uh, 
sort of in the top of the middle of the map, which is uh, where I ultimately attack from. But uh, just trying to brute force these uh, colossi in the, not colossus, uh, cyclops in the caves. And uh, there are a few lurking around. And there's that. There's one of those underworld passages. There's some goats in there too, if that uh, floats your boat. But just trying to keep the villager uh, protected, making some heroes out of my guys. And villager's a hero, of course, so she can uh, fight back a little bit against that cyclops. Just putting up a couple more walls there, and uh, trying to take care of Polyphemus in there, and uh, making good use of the market, selling my uh, selling off my food. I think I had over two thousand food there at one point. So I think I completely wall off that um, that area with the um, the caves in there, and uh, some guys still appear, like enemy guys still appear in there somehow. I'm not really sure how they do it, but uh, they just kind of spawn in there. So I end up uh, to avoid that uh, underworld going down. I just put up some tower some uh, distraction towers there and I don't know where these cyclopses came from they just kinda popped up out of nowhere so I'm just gonna take care of them my guys in fast motion my guys act like a swarm of bees so even though even though I don't have any heroes over there they just surround them all the while building up my main army and so I send my uh, send my guys through there find that other uh, underworld passage I'm just kinda convenient just to, to sneak around but uh, send my guys through this passage, and they uh, pop up on the other side of the map over by another vault. And um, I think they're met with a pretty stiff attack, if I remember correctly. Some relics over there, too, that floats your boat. I don't even think I built a uh, temple in this one. but And, uh, yep, yeah, so the <laughs> they come in, and I sneak my villager away into the caves and uh, send my main army through to uh, clean them up. And then I can uh, get the villager in there to wall up the area. Get that last plenty vault. Or not the last one, but one of them. Again, the AI doesn't really know how to deal with walls. So unless they're like directly in the way, they don't uh, they don't really attack them. You just have to leave a, leave a pathway for them. <laughs> And it looks like I got that, that vault under wraps there. And uh, I'm just going to take care of that wall so I can wall up the area. And I think there's... Oh yeah, you got some sentinels with that statue up there. But at this point, you are pretty much have most of the map taken over. So now I'm going to start sending my guys up to the top to uh, get the final assault going. What did I do there? Chaos? Yeah, okay, that was kind of a waste, but whatever, I wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, I got some Medusa up here, so I use Valor to uh, get some heroes. I think I have quite a few of them there. So I think I get my villager up there, I start building some uh, some barracks, I think I get, uh, get a Sky Passage going to uh, get the guys from back home as well. Trying to sneak in, take out some buildings here without instigating an attack. But uh, my numbers are pretty good here, so I wasn't I wasn't too concerned. But uh, sort of pulled back a little bit, let the uh, main army handle them. Try to get my heroes on the colossi. Or I think it's just one of them there, but they're pretty tough. Trying to use the rest of my god powers. I think I just had stun power left there, but so it looks like now I'm sending the guys in. You know, I'm like, well, I could probably out just you know outnumber them, but uh, they call in reinforcements, so I you kind of I kind of get pushed back here, which is if I'd prepared a little bit better, I uh, probably could have beaten them, but they really cleaned me out, and so I went from I think I had a pop of about 225, and now I'm down to 70 or so. So it was kind of kind of unfortunate. And if I had just foc maybe made some archers and just focused fired on General Melagius, I probably could have taken him out and uh, just gotten it over with. But my uh, commanding 
suffered a little bit there. So now I'm uh, again like kind of a hurry up and wait on on resources. Now I finally get some archers going with my uh, excess wood, but uh, with all the plenty vaults, it uh, yeah you can get resources a little bit more quickly, so it's not as not as painful as it is early in the game. So it looks like I'm gonna send my archers in to try to snipe him, but we'll see how that goes. So now it looks like I'm just going to use some uh, some raw numbers and uh, try to beat it out of them. <laughs> now I'm using the archers to focus fire Malagius, so we got them taken down now, and that's it for the level. So uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.